Hello, this is Mark Hughes with you again, and today I want to show you a really cool free resource that's going to help you incredibly with uh, picking a name, whether it's a domain name or whether it's a Facebook page name. Let's hop into it and just show you what the software is all about. Um, if you go into Google search and you type in name check, which is N-A-M-E-C-H-K, name check, and do a search on name check, you'll come across namecheck.com. Now if you click on namecheck.com, this will bring you through to a resource where you can check to see if your desired username or vanity URL is actually available. You know, there are obviously dozens of uh, popular social networking and social bookmarking websites. And this is going to eliminate the hard work for you on choosing a name that may well be taken already. So let me just quickly demonstrate what this is all about. If you go into the top here and you type in, let's go for instance, let's say dog training. And we click on check. Now obviously dog training is a quite a popular name and very generic. So there's a good chance that some of this may well be taken. However, this software is now running through each of the different social bookmarking sites, including the big platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Google, Wikipedia, MySpace, uh, obviously WordPress. And what this is going to tell you now is whether there are available usernames or vanity URLs on these particular social networking sites. Now this software is obviously just clicking through, but you can see dog-training is actually available on Facebook, on YouTube. Google def uh, certainly give you an indefinite option here or, or answer here because obviously Google is a separate platform altogether and they don't really see themselves as a social networking platform. But what's really encouraging is that even on Wikipedia, you've got Twitter, it's available, eHow, Flickr, LinkedIn, all of the really popular social networking sites. Dog-training. So if anybody's in the dog training niche, I would suggest that you go and snap this up and uh, you know, get your links into the social networking sites and, and get them socially bookmarked so that you can start getting some traffic to your website. Now, why is this important? Well, it's simply important because if you go to Facebook in particular, you can go um, into your Facebook page and let's do, for instance, uh, let's go dog training again. Get my spelling correct and do a search on dog training. What you'd end up with here is you normally get a long really unsightly uh, domain name or URL and that can obviously not look too good if you wanted to insert that into say a dog training forum or put it onto a business card you know it's it's long it's unsightly and you know it just doesn't look very professional so ideally what you want is you want to have um, a domain name and a page name that's going to be bespoke to you so if we just refresh this page and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. If you have a look at uh, my Facebook page, I've got social media riches. So facebook.com forward slash social media riches. So if I wanted to go to social media forum, I could insert that quite comfortably. People will know exactly what it is. It's nice and neat, tidy, looks professional. I could put that onto a business card and uh, people would know exactly what I'm all about i.e. to deal with making money using social media. So that's incredibly good, but obviously bear in mind that when you claim your vanity URL on Facebook, you need 25 people to like your page first before you can actually go and claim that vanity URL. Why this ties in really well is obviously with name check, before you go and build a page and spend all that time and hours building a page, you need to make sure that the name is not taken first and it's going to save you a lot of aggravation obviously if it's taken you can just go off and try a different name in case anybody's wondering uh, where to claim the Facebook uh, vanity URL from I'll just show you if you
you go to facebook.com forward slash username you'll see that um, each page can have a username and easily direct someone to your page by setting a username for it you will not be able to edit or transfer this username once you've set it and what you can do is you can go in and obviously different page names uh, you can select one of your pages or if you've just got one page select that after you've got the 25 likes check availability if you've done your research and the username is available that will allow you Facebook will allow you to claim that username and hey pronto you now can insert that into forums articles wherever you please and drive some nice traffic to your websites I've been Mark Hughes and I hope you enjoyed this tip and trick and I will be with you again soon bye now